Okay, we are just coming into from the Nogales entry into kilometer 21. You can see up there. This is what you're going to be looking at as you come in. Um, parking lots empty the day we were here. It was full. Um, I think this is more the normal pace. So this is where you drive in to area kilometer, kilometer 21. And the buildings are up there on the left there. First thing you come up to, you see here there's a money exchange here, which you'll want to do. You want to get some, a few thousand uh, pesos because you're going to have toll roads where you have to pay cash. So uh, get some pesos at the money exchange here. I think when I did my exchange, I got 13 pesos on the Canadian dollar. And at the time, it was 19 pesos on an American dollar. So then your next step is you have to get your FMM. That's your visitor's pass where you come into this building with that uh, symbol marked as the Secretary de Government. So you'd uh, come in here from the parking lot. So we came in here originally, you come to the counter and you get your FMN, Foreigners, I forget what it stands for, oh, say letter in the video, but you come in. Um, to get this form, you need to present your passport. You also have to pay for it and fill out a form. So continuing on, I should mention that I'm doing this recording all after the fact of what we did uh, when we came in and did this uh, a couple months ago. Um, it was very chaotic and we didn't catch it all on video. So now we're, we're actually leaving today. So I'm recording what we would have done at the time. So the building I was just in, you would have exited out of there when you got your FMM. Uh, I wasn't allowed to exit because they thought I was just coming in and walking through without doing my paperwork. So I came back out the front doors. So normally you would have exited this building here, out at these doors. And you need to make photocopies at this booth here. Um, of your driver's license, registration, and other documents. And uh, I believe at this booth here, from what I understand, it's customary to tip the person making the copies for you. So whatever you feel would be an appropriate tip. I overtipped, not knowing what I should do at this booth when I was first here. So then you take your photocopies, your FMM, uh, what you've got with you right now is your passport, your vehicle registration. Uh, you've shown proof that you got um, Mexican auto insurance for your vehicle. That's mandatory that you have to have some sort of insurance on your vehicle to bring it into Mexico. And then we got our auto insurance in Nogales, Arizona. 
So recapping again, you come in here, you've just got your FMM, you have your passport, you have a photo, you have your driver, your vehicle registration, evidence of having gotten some sort of Mexican insurance on your vehicle, auto insurance, uh, primarily for accidents and liability. Then from that first building to getting copies, walk over to the building in the, in the distance there. And at the time you go up there, you can only have the owner of the vehicle goes up there on their own with all your ID. And that's where you get your tips for. Um, that allows you to temporary import permit to bring your vehicle into Mexico. And then there's time limits on how long you have to declare how long your vehicle is going to be in Mexico. And then you have to come be out of Mexico within that time frame. I can't recall. The, and um, you get that refunded to you when you leave. So 